What's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the notification center to send messages around in your application. Now I want to stress from the outset, notification center is not, I repeat, is not push notifications um, and that kind of thing. So if you're thinking about those notifications you see on the home screen, that is not what this is. This is about sending notifications around basically inside your code inside the application and having various things watch and respond to it. So with that out the way, I've already got a bit of a setup here because I'm going to assume you know how to create at least a basic application. Um, otherwise, this may be a little confusing for you. But let me run through the setup that I've got here. So I've got three labels. So I've got a red label. I've got a little black label here and a button. Now, I've also in the code over here, I've got a couple of outlets already hooked up for the text labels. I've got a variable called the count, which is an integer set to zero. And then I have a function set up here, hooked up to the an action for the button. Now in the view did load, I've got a bit of a setup prep here because, you know, ordinarily I would just make this label blank if you don't want to see it from the beginning. But because I wanted you to see it here, I've got some sort of default text in here. So when the view did load happens, the counter label gets set to the value of the count, which in this case will be zero, and the red label text will be set to empty. Now, every time you hit the button, what's going to happen is it's going to increment that count by one in the variable. And then it's going to update the display of the counter label text. And then if the count reaches five, we are going to change the text of the red label to say five. OK, this is kind of the conventional way that maybe you we do this or you know you've seen this a lot of time let's just go ahead and run this and i'll just show you so we've got zero one two three four five and then the value is five that's great i mean this works and that's fine but the problems you've got right here at the moment is this action for the button right it's hard coded here to reference these two labels well you know what if later on down the road those labels change or somebody want to do something else, or maybe this isn't incremented by a button. So now you've got to manage this linkage with the code here. And what you could do with Notification Center is you can basically decouple the button and the labels. They don't need to know about each other, okay? So basically what you can do is you can say, okay, these two labels should listen for the value of the count. And when that changes, they need to update their display. And then the button doesn't need to know about the labels. It just needs to increment the value of the count by one. OK, now what we're going to do here then is we're going to change the code here. We're going to have the two labels listen for a notification that the count has changed. And then the button, every time you click it, is going to broadcast the event that the value has changed. And then for the simplicity of this example, if the value reaches five, we're going to broadcast an event that says the value is five. So we're going to go ahead and set that up here. It sounds like a lot of code. It really isn't. Something that I've picked up and followed from other developers is this really good idea of having a struct with notifications in your own notifications that you create. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new file here. Just a standard Swift file and I'm going to call it notifications. All right, so in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an extension and I'm going to extend the notification name because I want a list of names that I'm going to use. So to do that, we just create some variables here. So I'm going to say um, count did change will be the first one. And that's going to be a notification dot name. And then you have to give it a name. So this will make sense when we get to the rest of the code. I'm just going to put the same name here. Count did change. And I'm just going to copy that because we want one more. We also want count reached five. OK. And again, I'll just change it here. Count reached five. Now you can do these in line, but by having them here as an extension is great because it also helps me with syntax completion, as you will now see. 
So in here, you essentially just list the names of the notifications that you want to pass around, right? You want to listen for and you want to you want to transmit. And that's all that is here. Let's go back to our view controller. And what we need to do now is we need to set up having the text labels listen for those notifications. And then we also need to have the button transmit those notifications. So that's very straightforward. What we're going to do is we're just going to set up here in the view did load. I'm just going to add a couple of lines here and I'm just going to paste in from my clipboard to save some typing. I'll explain what this is. So this is a kind of a standard setup here. We're going to fill some blanks in. So we've got notification center. You get one by default. It's called default. So you don't have to do anything there, right? So what you're saying is notification center, the default instance, I want you to add an observer self being this view controller. The selector is the function you want to call when this particular scenario happens that you're listening for. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, so this one here, the name, these are the names that we set up earlier. So for this particular one, I want to add, I'm just going to go count. So you see why I've got this extension here, right? As soon as I start doing it, it's going to give me these ones to pick from and I can't mistype this at this point. So I'm going to say count did change. When count did change is observed, I want it to execute this function, right? So let's just do this quickly. Let's just write this function here. We're just going to say func um, update counter display, right? This is going to be very straightforward. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this line of text here and I'm just going to take it out of there and put it in here. So instead of the button doing that now, this function does it for us, right? So in here, I'm going to call this selector and I'm just going to put the name in and I'm just going to put update counter display, right? There we go. Now you're going to notice we get an error here. Now the reason we get this error is because notification center is actually objective C. So we have to mark our function here that we're calling from the selector as objective C. So we can just hit fix. It's going to fix that for us and we're good to go. All right. So no, no complication in there. That's fine. Now that's the first one, right? Let's set up the second one as well. So I'm just going to save some type in here. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it in here as well. But this time around, of course, we don't want count did change. We want count reached five. Okay. And then, so we're going to just change this update five display. Okay. And then down here again, so learning from what we did there, Objective C, func update five display. Okay. And then again, we're just going to take this one here, paste it in there like so. Let's get rid of this because we don't need this here. Well, uh, actually, let's leave that there for right now, but let's just take that out. Right. So right now you can see now our button action knows nothing about the labels and it shouldn't and it doesn't need to. But what it does need to do now is send out the notifications. So we've got our observers set up over here, our listeners. Now we need to set up over here the sending of those notifications to Notification Center. So we're going to do two different things here. The first one is what we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, at the end of this function, I'm just going to again paste this code in and I'll explain it. We want the notification center, the default instance to post. And we, again, we're going to want to give it a name here. So we're going to say again, we're going to put in count did change, right? So now the button is going to tell the notification center, hey, uh, the count did change is a thing you need to know about. Then the notification center is going to broadcast that out to anything listening, which of course is going to be our text over here. Now, that's fine for the first one. And again, I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to say, all right, but if the count is five, we need something different, right? So we still need to update this one here to show five on our counter, but we also need to display the other one. So under this instance, we're going to also say count reached five. So if the count now is five, it's going to send count reached five and count did change. And then again, because the labels are listening up here, they're going to update themselves. So let's go ahead and try this. All right, build succeeded. That's a good start. So again, zero, hit the button. 
goes to one right now it's broadcasting those events so we're going to keep going now this time when it gets to five it should broadcast both of these events and sure enough it does and the value is five so that's a very simple uh, way to show you how the notification center works with this idea of something listening for an event and something broadcasting events but because of the way this works they're only listening for these particular events up here right now you know i've got them in the view to load here you're going to put them wherever you need to put them for your application but hopefully this has been helpful uh please reach out or you know leave a comment like subscribe uh, you can also reach out on compileswift.com uh, forward slash contact if you have any questions or you can reach out on twitter at compileswift and i would love to know your thoughts on this this really does help with complex uis and have being able to decouple the various parts so good luck with it have some fun and i'll see you in the next one